All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. I need to give you an update on this old 65 Cornet. Let me show you what I got going here. Back in the trunk, I did actually get the trunk lid. If you didn't see my short, I got it cut and buffed. I got the hood cut and buffed. And I went ahead and put the hood out of the way so that I don't mess it up while I'm putting the engine transmission stuff in the front. It'll go on later. Currently, you'll see in the back, uh, it's missing the trunk rubber. I got all that old stuff off, scraped it down, cleaned it down, primed it, all that, if you've missed that. but uh, I can go ahead and do the tail lights and our trick little panel that goes there. I saved it. Um, I could do the back bumper, but... The, currently the gas tank's gonna come out. I gotta clean it out really well. The rear end's gonna come out and I'm gonna do a coating under the car. See my white overspray there? Um, gonna coat under the car with rust encapsulator. So see the little stuff like that? So what I need is this gas tank rear end out of the way. I'm gonna get the car high up in the air and then I'm gonna live on my back for two or three days with a wire brush, wire wheel, scuff pad. Um, it's gonna be really fun next week, but in order to start on that, I need to get this other stuff out. You can see how flat that spring is right there. I mean, besides it being red. Um, he's got a nice new set of springs here. Um, and you can actually see there, they look to be a little heavier duty that's three, four, five, and then the little half leaf on bottom. So those would be nice. Get the back end of the car up some to match the front. Uh, but yeah, that's my plan for today. I can shut that trunk down. Get a, I got a trunk uh, rubber ordered, but it's got her latched right there. Starting to look more like a car, which is really nice. Um, some of my paint stuff, if you ever notice in any of these other videos, I talked to him. See, I got some dry spray right there on the roof. I said, let me go ahead and cut and buff that. He said, dude, I can buff. I'm, I'm totally confident of doing that. And I said, well, if you do that, it'll save me some time. Like I was going to hit this door. It's got just a little bit of more, a little more texture than I want on it, but there's not big runs on this side. This side was the one I had a few runs on I wanted to fix, but I mean, overall texture's nice. Uh, but yeah, let's get some work done today. New lens put in the light, looks nice. His bottom one's still a little ugly, but I don't have any, any more of those. He brought these, they're kind of a Chinese production lens and it seemed to be kind of hitting inside of here. If I laid it like that, you might could tell. It was almost hitting in here before it laid down all the way so what i ended up doing was double stacking his gaskets i had to use longer screws in the back to hold the lens but you got to take off the backup light part this is just a he needs a new uh the wire ran through for that deal but i'll stick it back in for him um his seal looks nice I th i'm assuming that's the factory one uh, this is the left hand side you'll see the l but I should be able to go ahead and slide her in. It, it's still got a nice foam gasket in here and that black rubber looks good, so. Let's bolt her up. There it is. So it takes these kind of thread cutting nuts. Doesn't look like a car in the back again. Something you may notice about this trunk is that it has some spatter paint. I don't think I've ever seen a Mopar with spatter paint makes me think somebody in the last 10 or 20 years threw that in, uh, in there. I know a lot of Chevrolets have it, but it matches his, his blacked out uh, under hood area there. It always looks nicer with the taillights and the chrome back on it, bumpers and such. Gonna lower her down real quick, take a look. I know they're not hanging in or anything. 
Simple click. Finally, a little more payoff for it here. Look at there. I think she's pretty slick. I dig it. Now, let me get her jacked up and start tearing the uh, bottom end out of it. All right, let me take you along on a journey up under here real quickly. So, pretty solid car underneath. You can see stuff like this where it's just kind of nasty surface rusted. I'm gonna black all this out with rust encapsulator. Um, that must have been from hauling it from Houston. Uh, the frame rails look good. They're just, like I said, a little surface rusty, not bad. Gas tank will be out so I can do above it, which is the bottom of the trunk floor. Hopefully, there you go. Looks like we've got a big, big hole here of a rubber that we're missing. I can probably find one of those around here somewhere. I do have some new gas line that I'm going to bend and put in place of that one. So that'll be an undercar project. Uh, like I said, new springs. He was wanting to get a sure grip of some kind, locker, whatever, um, for this eight and three quarter. But you can see the floor pans here. They're just bare. They're they're kind of like uh, all the paint's gone off of them. They're starting to surface rust. Um, I'll just have my work cut out for me. Two or three days in a row of laying down and wire wheeling the crap out of this and then coming back and painting that stuff on it'll look really nice underneath let me roll around here and show you there we go so when i got down and sprayed uh that rocker panel there see i need to wipe some of that stuff off but anyway got a lot of overspray on this and i knew it would i didn't tape this all the way off to the floor um piece of old fuel line but all this will be blacked back out and it won't just be a whiz bomb can. It'll be much nicer than that, I think. Um, you see the old seat bolts, got some grease around the torsion bar thing. Uh, you can see some of the black under here still where I did shoot it with a whiz bomb can, but I can also encapsulate over that if I want to. But getting all that stuff blacked out and protected, I want to say this is, if I can show you, there it is. That is the only hole that I've found in the floor pan. And it's not, not great big by any means. There it is. A um, little crunchy out of there. I'll get it sealed back up and everything will be protected. So as he drives it for the next hundred years or whatever he's going to, um, it'll be nice. So getting the rear end out and fuel tank. The tank looks fairly new. Um, a lot of the gas that came out of it, I got new shocks too. See the old Midas lifeguard there? That's kind of funny. Um, the old gas that was coming out of it and going to the engine, the old engine uh, was pretty brown and rusty. And I think a lot of that was the old fuel line. So I said, let's, I'll go ahead and pull it, flush it. Just be sure there's not big stuff hanging around in there. But yeah, not much to pull in these rear ends. These four bolts. Drive shaft's already out. You can see the his Texas line locks here um, for the brakes. So I'm just going to bust it loose here and uh, shocks loose, roll the rear end out. I may go ahead and do the gas tank first. It's not a big deal either way, but it'll be a little more open in the back to get to those shock bolts kind of from the backside. Only one strap. As I thought. Mm. So luckily this one doesn't have the Boogie Nights um, rear shackles, just got stockers on it. So I've got a little penetrant on those. I'll pull both those bolts, or both those nuts, both sides. The uh, four and four. Right now I've got the drum brake lines disconnected there. You can see the holes 
right there. Uh, drive shaft is already undone. I'm gonna probably take the shocks down from the top so that they can come out with it. Get my floor jack in place and we'll be rolling this thing out in a second. Coming right along. So we want to stop right there before destroying all the paint off the bottom of this car I just painted. A couple options. One, let the air out of these tires. They'll get shorter by that much. Two would be jack up the rear of the car, then have to move the jack after the thing gets past it. Or three, we will let the front down just a little bit. It'll roll right out. Rear end is out. He's pretty dusty from somebody sanding and painting his car. But she'll be clean when she goes back in with new springs. Gas tank, same thing. It was dusty, I wiped it off some. This is a Taiwan special. And just looking down through there, she's fairly new. That's nice. I, I may go ahead and pull the cinder out anyway, just to check and be sure it works. The, that the plastic bulb is still on there and all that, but got a lot more room for activities under here now. So that's nice. Cousin Johnny. Anyway, I'll have to do hard work next week, laying down and coating that stuff. Before we leave, there's something I forgot right here. And here we go. This is just as important as anything else I put back on the car. Therefore, it definitely a part of its history. There we go. There she is. Starting to look like a Mopar again. I think it's really cool to have the dealer tag. The Wasp likes it. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching and following along with the old getaway car project here. She's getting closer every day, every chance I get to work on it. So thank y'all for watching. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>